Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a really quick tutorial because I was watching the state of Unreal and I saw they did a demo where they showed the new feature of morph targets inside Unreal 5.6 and they were animating it using control rig and I thought that was pretty cool. So I want to kind of, you know, do my own little tutorial on it um, to show you guys what I discovered. It's still experimental so there are some bugs that I've already found that sometimes don't work exactly. Um, but let's, um, I'll, I'll share with you guys what I kind of learned from doing this. First, you'll have to enable the plugin. So go ahead and type in morph, skeletal mesh morph target editing tools. Make sure that's checked on. And then you'll bring in your static mesh, um, which I have here, which is a mushroom. I thought, you know, in light of um, The Last of Us coming out, season two, I wanted to create a mushroom that would expand and grow into a monster of some sort. No, not really, but I want to, you know, kind of mess around with this mushroom. So taking that static mesh, right click on it, convert to a skeletal mesh, and then you'll go into the skeletal mesh. Um, here, you know, depending on how many triangles your asset has, you might want to remesh this. So go ahead and remesh just so that the sculpt can be a little bit more, you know, fine detailed. Um, so you'll see that you have this little edit morph targets. So I'm going to click that. And if you don't see this, that means your plugin is not enabled. Then I'll do sculpt morph target. And here you have different um, sculpt brushes that you can choose from. So I'm actually going to use this inflate. And I made the size kind of small because I'm going to make like these, um, what I call pimples. <laughs> On, on the mushroom here. And I'll make them kind of small. So I'll do a few of these like that. Um, but it's pretty cool. You can like, you know, do all types of stuff with uh, the sculpting tools here. Go ahead and accept. And you'll notice that it's created a new morph target and when you go into curves, it's created that. Um, now one thing I noticed when I was doing this is like whenever I change the names here, um, sometimes it kind of got messed up, like it just wouldn't show up in curves um, or, you know, there were some weird things happening. So just be careful with this. For this demo, I'm not going to change the name, naming because the last time I did this, it kind of got messed up. And I will add another morph target here just for demonstration purposes because I want to show you guys how to do multiple ones. You know what, where's grab? I'm gonna use grab here. Okay, grab, and this one I'm gonna just go a little bit crazy. This one is where it really turns into a monster. So this is looking pretty crazy already. You know, I wish they had like full on sculpting mode in here, like kind of like what they have in Blender or, or Maya. That would be pretty cool, but I'm sure they're going to expand upon that. Um, but yeah, so you notice how it nothing happened. So that should have created a new morph target. Unfortunately, it did not. Let me try just one more time. So that's one of the bugs that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, maybe it's because I had that selected. I'm not sure, um, but that's kind of weird. Okay, and this is correct. So there's two of these that got created. And now I will go and save that and make sure these are working, yep. Okay, so now go into your skeletal mesh, right click, create and create a control rig. Open up that control rig and in the control rig forward solve I will type in set curve value and you know what I'm going to create two of these because we have two 
um, morph targets that we're going to create. Go to the rig hierarchy, right click on the root, we're going to do a new control, and then we're going to add a new animation channel. And in fact, add two, because we have two of them. And here I, I will change the naming. Hopefully it's not going to mess anything up. Um, pimple. And then monster. I don't know. It's not really monster, but who cares. So now you'll drag each of these in here and get animation channel. And just make sure that if you do go back and change names, you update this, because that was one thing that kind of messed me up before as well. When I changed the naming, um, it didn't update. So here, connected there, the curve. I think that's the first morph target. Let me see. And this is why it's kind of annoying when I can't um, rename these. No. The zero, O0 zero is... Um, That's almost like the same one. What happens to the uh, pimples? Okay, I'm going to create my pimples again because I don't know why they disappeared. Because that's what I wanted. Bam. Alright. Go ahead and accept. And this, oh, I really don't want to rename it because I know it's going to mess it up. Um, okay, and it's got the curves in there. So let's go ahead and, I'm not going to rename it because I know it's going to mess up. Pimple will go to, see, it's not even updating here. Where is it? Not an updating. Okay, so we've created a control rig and let's see if this actually works. Set curve value. Ah, now we got it. So I had to recreate the control rig just because um, when I went back here to add a new morph target, then my control rig broke. It just wouldn't show the curve. So now if this is working, I think. Um, duplicate this, new element, new control, right click, new element, new animation channel, new element, new animation channel. So here I'm going to rename this pimple, because I wanted one of these to be the pimple. So we're going to 01, that's the pimple. And this one can just be called uh, monster. And I'll do 0. Save that. And now if I drag out the control rig, it will automatically create a level sequence but you know conversely you can also drag the skeletal mesh in there now if I unscroll for the control rig you'll see you have the two curves down here the monster the pimple yeah now you can animate it in here by using the keyframes <laughs> Alright, hope you guys enjoy that, and make sure to subscribe and like the video, and leave a comment um, to let me know how things go, or if you have any questions about it, or if you run into any issues, let me know.